Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to the Sunless Sea, where we just found the mechanic secret in Frostfound, and I've continued to not change our officers, despite saying many, many times that we should do that. In fact, at the start of past two episodes, won't do it now, because that would increase our uh, terror. You see, going to Frostfound caused us some problems. Namely, that our crew... Uh, is slightly scared by the horrifying things that happen in that place. Not entirely surprising, I suppose. But still. I think we're going to go straight back to London. That seems like a decent plan. And when we get to London, we're going to see what happens to the Wistful Deviless. Now, hopefully that's going to be a rather positive experience for her. We do have brimstone buzzings to hand in, so ideally we'll be able to clear her name. Hopefully I'm concerned that we might not be able to do that, but you know, in the worst case scenario they just throw her into a pie oven. I'm sure she'll enjoy that. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Still, you know what? I'm gonna try to clear off some of these little blank spots on the map for my own, you know, not quite OCD, but the thing that we call OCD, even though it's not actually OCD. You know, that thing. The need to complete things. And of course, after we deliver the Wistful Deviless and have completed her story, we have more business to attend to. As long as nobody steals our vital intelligence, we could get ourselves an element of dawn and be that much closer to getting our new engine. The Fulgent Impeller, something that's powered by the same thing that powers the bazaar, and that will be quite the accomplishment. Might even get a new ship after that. We'll see. See how that all turns out. In the meantime, we do have to actually survive this trip. And stock up on fuel once the uh, opportunity arises. Ah, good. So we can go straight back to London now. Fill out another spot on the map. Feeling okay about that. Suppose we should check on Hunter's Keep. I don't think there's going to be any change there, but... There might. There's a chance. I don't think there were any survivors, though. Partially our own fault. But how was I supposed to know the place would go on fire all of a sudden for no reason? Hmm. Oh, well. Not important now, I suppose. Of course there are no islands. I keep instinctually sending out the bat. It's not good for anybody. Oh. Ooh. My own dreams. Truth and dreams, beneath the cavern that holds the Z is prowled by dreams. There's a story that it was once the skull of a dead god. Perhaps that's explaining it. Uh, that doesn't explain anything. Flight. Five Zailers dice for the corpse of a Z-Bat. It is ill luck for a Zailer to kill a Z-Bat. One wins it, but in his hand it becomes a freshly cut surface flower. His fellows cry out in envy and greed. They fall on him, and there comes a great rending of white petals. More petals fall, obscuring the mass, the ship, the neath, the false stars of the roof. It's very cold, you'll have to set a fire. That's a very interesting dream. A little bit odd, a little bit peculiar. And docking, and... Looking on the ruins, has anything changed? Nope. Nothing at all. Not even our financial situation has changed. <sighs> Such a shame. Now, if we could please get back to London. Come on. Good. Great moves in the game. Okay, we have to really rush to the surface. Okay. It's fine. We can stock up on fuel and then just go. Go there get our supplies, possibly make that stop to London, but more importantly, get to, uh, yeah, get to the Dawn Machine, um, no, it should be fine. I'm thinking of whether or not I need to skip the trip to make, you know, more money and get the fuel, but I don't need to. It might be a thing I should do, but it's not something I need to do. Just have to be careful about counting our supplies when we buy them. Breath of Relief. Isn't that lovely? Collect messages. Great. 
What's going on at the Rosers' Wharf? Nothing we actually care about. Okay, so you, sir. Nope, you're not getting that vital intelligence. We could submit the brimstone buzzings to them. Interesting. Uh, could worry about the family, but no. Let's, um, let's take care of a few things first. We do need some more Zaylers. Thank you. Brass Embassy. <clears throat> Hell will welcome the Devless. Perfect. London. Oh, the souls. The souls. I haven't smelt so many since. She inhales, eyes closed, face wrapped. Your hackney carriage approaches the embassy. A discreet arrival. Your bane devil meets you and the devilist by one of the embassy's lesser entrances. He bows, she bows. They chatter together in one of Hell's hissing, clicking languages and laugh at a shared joke. For a moment you seem forgotten, but she turns back to thank you, no, to pay you. All shall be well now, she says gleefully. In all manner of things shall be well. You've done a terrible thing and I'm terribly grateful. Take this. This is a smoldering ruby from the throat of Mount Palmerston. It's scorching hot from her touch. She chuckles fondly as you juggle it hastily from hand to hand. Perhaps I'll see you again. You're so much fun. I mean, I can hope. Well, London, Crave Human Souls. Hmm. On the one hand, devils pay a little better than the merchants on Wolfstock stock. And on the other hand, you are literally, literally selling other people's souls to devils. Well, yes, that may be, may be true. Possibly. Still, I am very curious, and I do support the Admiralty first, so submit our brimstone buzzings. What will it mean to the Admiral? I can hardly understand half of this, but it is interesting. It's interesting. If hell stays divided, it's to all our advantage, and every little helps. You must have risked much to bring us this. Let us show our appreciation. Indeed I did. Indeed I did. Now on to the matter of fuel for the ship. Hmm. Thirty... Thirty-five should be more than enough. Even if I do end up skipping the trip... Hmm. Yeah, even if I end up skipping the trip, we should be fine. I can also sell these Foxfire candles. I'm not going to. Because I might need them for the Mangrove College after this. Because, you know, might as well make money that way. But yes, the goal now, now that we've sent the Wistful Deviless to Hell, is to get our Element of Dawn, for which we need 50 supplies, which is going to be quite tricky to manage. But we should be fine. We're going to sell all of our... Yeah, sell all of our coffee on the surface. Should have spent time with family in hindsight, but you know what? That's fine. It'll be fine. It's not going to be fine. I'm going to go back. Hold up. Hold up, crew. Forgot something. Forgot something very important. I forgot my family. Oh, such a line. Anyway. Yes, ideally we deal with some of this terror. I don't like having my terror at this level anymore. I've gotten used to having it so much lower. And I suppose we would get it lower on the surface. But still... Time with the family. It's good for everybody. Well, good for me anyway. Just enjoy the company. Thank you. Also, by the way, morning papers, supplies, yes, terror, etc. A calling card? Interesting. A smoky flake of hand-lettered vellum. The wistful deviless has come to visit. As you know. Uh... Whoa! Oh, oh! Oh, I could marry her. Oh, that, uh, hmm. Ah, uh, had I known. Hmm. She is as elegant as ever, a little careworn, though. You almost think she looks older, but she will never look older. I miss the peace of that place, she says, Palmerston. It was a little wind that walked in the grey grass of the mountain's slopes. It carried the smell of ashes. I hated it because it reminded me of home, but now, now I wake and I think I hear it. At the convention, I had a purpose. We were going to destroy so many things. I lost faith in that purpose, but I have no more faith here. I should never have made you bring me here. 
I mean, I do have feelings for her, but I'm already married. So, I mean, I... I mean... You know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that one. I'm going to leave that for now because I'm just going to leave that for now. That's not something I can deal with right now. Um, actually, I don't even know if she'll accept that marriage proposal. You know what? Why not? I can do the whole polygamous thing. Why not? Right? That's not... I mean, I'm not really comfortable with that, but go for it. Incredulous laughter. That's very good, she wheezes, mopping her streaming eyes. Oh, I thought I would never laugh again. <laughs> she pats your arm with a taloned hand. This is but a spring in my step, honestly. Here, she hands you a box of ophidian candies, purified from serpent venom. I was going to eat the whole box to cheer myself up. Perhaps you can find use for them now. Bon voyage, she's still giggling as she leaves. Well... I mean, she is a devil, it's, you know, crushing people's hearts. Can't say I blame her for it. Ah, well. C'est la vie. That's pretty heavy rejection, too. Yeah. Generally, when people laugh at your marriage proposal, yeah, just drop it. Oh, well, that's a shame. Still, you know, worth a shot. Ah, well. Still a hell of a person. Anyway, let's get ourselves back to the surface. Also, for the record, that's kind of how I handle rejection. Kind of just, yeah. Okay. At least how I have so far. Never can say about the future. Uh, you, I'm just gonna eat you. Because you're delicious. And basically useless for uh, research purposes. But, you know. Minor detail. I suppose a stop on Mutton Island wouldn't do us any harm. No severe harm, anyway. Hmm. Hello, delicious little morsel. I'm afraid you're gonna have to just run away. Sorry. Can't eat you now. Chat. And what's this matter? Oh, some fragments. A little bit of terror. Nothing really vitally important to us. Also no useful resources, but... Oh well. It'll be fine. We're going to get to the Cumaine Canal. We won't have any spies interrupting things. And then... Then we're going to get our Element of Dawn. Oh, oh, so many other things we will need to get. We actually should have enough money after this trading run that we can get our little prisoner from Wisdom. Oh, we might actually be able to get this Fulgent Impeller going soon. Ooh, 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 ooh. I am excited about that. Just a little bit longer. And then I'm going to be ridiculously fast, I'm told. Hopefully. We'll see what ridiculous speed is like. I mean, we already have a decent engine, but... It's not the same as, you know, having the type of engine that makes the bazaar fly through space. You know, that's a, a bit of a higher grade of engine, you know, just in my opinion. You know, it might be, you know, just as good as London Tech, but uh, I think it's a little bit better. Just a wee bit. Yes, yes, vast eyes, I get it. Scoop it up. Delicious. Or what will be delicious. Speaking of, hello. So, how about this strange catch? He tastes a morsel on the tip of his knife and shudders. An exquisite find, my captain. Like a devil's lips. Searing, probably fatal, but utterly worth the risk. So, are you good to go? You are. A squelch, and then a quivering thunk. The bandaged poisoner has thrown a strange catch across the galley, and then a knife. Is something wrong? A limitation. The ingredients are fine. It's my hands that are deficient. There are piquant jewels hiding in the vitals of these creatures but I cannot extract them. One slip and the taste is contaminated. He paces the galley. I need to improve my butchery. Can you take me to the shellinate? No one knows more about gutting than the bone men. Fair enough. 
Oh yeah, who does he want to cook for, by the way? Hmm. Something to worry about. Not just yet, though. Gather information for our port report, get our gossip, which is going to protect our vital intelligence, and we are going onto the surface. Lovely. Fill the mirror catch box. And then, of course, to Naples. Lost a crew member, as we do. Buy our train ticket. Coffee! And dining with the friend from the borough, why not? Back so soon? Charming surprise! How's life in the netherworld? You perhaps have something else for me? Yes, indeed we do. More moves in the great game, more supplies. Enjoyed the ham hock? I'll have Cook provide you with something to take away. Well, thank you for your company. Most pleasant, most enlightening. Yes, yes, yes. Very interesting. Not really something I need to worry about right now, though. And now, we purchase all the supplies. 50 of them, to be precise. So... This is gonna be a while. See you soon. Okay, 66 seems like a good amount. So, having finished our purchase of supplies, let's get back below. Thank you. Listen for more surface gossip, because it took us long enough, and we have more moves in the great game, which means our vital intelligence is that much safer. Unfortunately, it also means we need to make sure that we make it back to, uh... Well... Yes, the Iron Republic, it's on the way. So there's no reason not to stop there for fuel. The... Moves in the great game don't force us to need to have done that, but our fuel situation does. And perhaps I should have grabbed more crew. Well, hindsight 2020 and all that. Not a big matter for now. Let's just make our way southerly. Oh. Nope. Nothing I need to worry about. Just a little scratch on the screen. Nothing to worry about at all. And our terror is back down to zero. Well, one, if you want to be technical. Hmm. You know, what does the tittering artificer need? There's devil bone dice and something else. Hmm. Could see about getting that done. I'm thinking of what all we want to do before we retire. Because at this point, we have quite a bit of, well... We have the ability to make quite a bit of money. Thinking of what we want to do before we take a pause. And dock. Iron Republic. Market of Hungers. Yeah, good soon tight conspiracy, I guess, whatever. Stygian Ivory, Devil Bone Dice. 19 total, 7 of the Ivory. Wonderful, good to know. Good to know. And fuel... All of your fuel. Hmm. 25 and a few cheap sacks of dark drop coffee beans. Could sell supplies for a considerable amount, but we need them in order to, you know, make more money. And by make more money, I mean get a piece of the Dawn Machine, which I am very intrigued by. It'll be quite a thing to see what, uh, what that is, for one thing. Like, they're selling me a piece of the machine that they worship, slash are run. Well, I mean, yeah, they're kind of run by it. It kind of has its grip on their minds in a disturbing fashion. At least that's my current theory. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. It'll all be fine. Why wouldn't it be? I mean, yeah, our terror situation's fine. It's only going to be 50 supplies and that vital intelligence, and I'm sure this won't have any severe negative repercussions for the rest of the Neath. Probably won't. Most likely will not. Also, is Castle Clare something that's uh, near London or England? Someone look that up for me. And by someone, I mean me from the future. It'd be great if we did. So, Grand Geode. Hi. And docking. Hello, everybody. Sell the Memento Mori to the servants of the Dawn Machine. 
yeah, not doing that. I am going to, however, purchase an element of dawn from the Commodore. The Commodore welcomes you, smiling to his immaculate office. Crystals glitter in the walls. Of course, he says, glad to help, but we'll need to cover expenses for an element. The light only produces so many, you know. Expensive indeed. Possibly costing the lives of crewmen as well. Oh, that kind of hurts. Hurts me deep inside. Expenses? No, no, your seven youths and maidens, ah, I mean your seven crew, are not expenses. They will live rich, satisfied, glorious lives. I will ensure it personally. And thank you for the information, we will make very, very good use of it. Rising Supremacy, the Dawn Machine. On the sun, the sun, the sun, the s Yes. Unfortunate, that. But necessary. Also means we're much slower. And question, hello. And yet it moves, a piece, emission, or work of the Dawn Machine, usable in combat, summon the Tree of Ages. You must be in open waters to do so. Okay, so we're going to be moving at half speed for a while now. I am not going to expose you all to that. But, suffice it to say, we will be heading back to London, and we have the most, I would say, most vulnerable part of the Fulgent Impeller retrieved. So, we just have to make more money, make a few more trips like that one, and we will have enough money to go to Wisdom. Actually, we could go to Wisdom now, now that I think about it. And we have no reason not to. So perhaps we do go to Wisdom now. But that's going to be a matter for the future. For now! Thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly. And I shall see you all soon.